rock and roll people give me another video it's a new day around here feeling great feeling good hope you and your family have a good one peace be unto you all that good stuff we'll talk about today I'm gonna talk about Arab Spring Arab Fall whatever you want to call it now Arab Spring or do they have problems beforehand the, the, you know, have this. Now, some people, a lot of people are feeling like there's a lot of experts, quote unquote experts. I'm not an expert because I don't have a degree in this and I never, you know, was diplomatic. I just happened to talk to a lot of people, talk to people who are from there. Maybe I've been there, you don't know. Every spring was just the tip of the iceberg, some people think. It might be too. Uh, that came from decades upon decades upon decades decades of suppressing freedoms at the end of the day in these effective Arab countries. Now, you have corrupt governments, you have no shame in the abuse of power, you have the letting the people suffer while a country goes to hell, you have suppression of the suppression of the press, you have repression of certain freedoms, social realities ain't matching up, you have all this it, nah. People feel it led to like like the revolutions were just the tip of the iceberg. It just boom, it just exploded. No, things aren't looking too great for the near future either. Because you got Al Qaeda, which I'll be discussing later in the video. You have Al Qaeda. You have the Muslim Brotherhood. You have little Muslim Brotherhood in Egypt. It's just that we we replace one regime with another regime. You know, it's like the enemy of my enemy is still my enemy. But democracy is slow, you know, and it's a complicated process. And we really can't stick our nose over there because now nah, once again, it'll be a holy hell again. You know, these countries must, they must embrace the tough road that lies ahead of them. They must understand, you know, democracies aren't built overnight. And, like, I know it's a power struggle right now. But uh, you have to change the culture by basically changing everything, really. You know, even the rules of the game, you got to change the rules of the game on the fly, you know. Reforms, implement unpopular policies to the people. If you live in America, we got a lot of unpopular policies. And you have to do this from, you know, from scratch. But then you got the Al-Qaeda factor, which is the enemy of my enemy, is my friend. Now, it's still your enemy. The Al-Qaeda, the presence in all these, in all these you know, revolutions, it's very unwelcome because... Basically because of their extremism. I'm not saying they're not for or against the people. It's because they're just a little extreme in what they do. You know, this is another reason these uprisings have been confused with because the government and the fighters, like the fighters can be from that country, but Al-Qaeda can plant fighters who want to fight for the fighters if we can pick up on this against the country. Well, the problem with that is a lot of these rebel groups and a lot of these you know, fighters against the government don't want Al-Qaeda because they know if they fight with them, Al-Qaeda wants a piece of the pie. And if Al-Qaeda gets a piece of the pie, it's, it's a wrap. So, it hijacked, Al-Qaeda basically tried to hijack the revolution out of East Syria. And the first uh, original cause was maybe in Syria the cause was to get the government out. But now you're going to have the, like, if Al-Qaeda gets their way, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be Afghanistan before Afghanistan was Afghanistan. You know, I'm a, I, you know, like I said, even though these rebels may welcome the help, they don't welcome the after effects. You know, there'll be no democracy if Al-Qaeda's in charge. Well, it will be a democracy is you'll say what we do, and you'll vote to do it. You know, but Al-Qaeda, you know, it's the religious pulse of a lot of people. They, they just hit that nerve. I mean, the, what they're spitting is like religious facts. It's just that they're wackos. They're like the Tea Party, it's like Arabic Tea Party. So, end of the day, the enemy of my enemy is still my enemy. So, I'm out of here. Deuces.